Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today I wanted to share with you a video for my 38th birthday. I have made a hundred reps per boxing exercise. So for months now, and I've mentioned this in my previous videos, I had been um, gradually adding five more reps um, each week. Uh, starting at 20, it was either 10 or 20 reps, um, and now I have finally, coincidentally for my birthday, um, finally reached 100 reps. So here I'm just wrapping my hands, and I wanted to show you this um, because uh, I always have uh, people asking me, how do you do this with your nails? So, um, I've mentioned in my previous videos, there's only a certain length that I can go by, and um, it's actually the same length that the Gelish um, soft gel tips come in. So, I'm just going to show you a very quick, this whole workout takes maybe 35 minutes, and um, I've pretty much cut that in less than half to show you guys. So this is the first set and it's just a straight punch and I'm doing a hundred of these. That's one zero zero. So I can tell you that from the moment I started with the 10 or 20, I was about done after five. So, <laughs> and um, I can also tell you that I've noticed looking back at my videos, um, I took a previous video at like 60 reps at the time um, and I can link that at the end of this video um, but my arms look totally different and I definitely have lost a good amount of weight so this is a double tap and um, I'm gonna try I'm doing the vo voiceover now for this and I'm gonna try to flip the image so that you can read my shirt and also you can realize that this isn't my left hand it's my right hand so um, as you may all know from watching my uh, previous videos if not you should definitely um, subscribe to this channel I have some really nice um, nail videos that I think you'll enjoy but um, I'm definitely left-handed, and um, this feed is um, backwards. I am recording on my um, Samsung Galaxy uh, 10 Plus um, phone, and for some reason, and it's not just mine, um, for some reason some phones that I've had, if you record, do the selfie camera, it just reverses everything, which is so weird. So... So now I'm doing my straight punch with my uh, left hand, as you may or may not know, that's called Southpaw. There was a movie on it. It had Jake Gyllenhaal in there for anybody who likes that actor. But anyway, um, my left hand comes a lot easier than my right hand. So this, um, my left hand wasn't as much work, or it didn't feel as much work as it did. So as you see, like I'm putting my forehead on the bag, this is how I kind of like measure myself from the bag. So I'll put my forehead on the bag and I'll step back and that's how far I should be from the bag. So um, what I didn't mention and what you don't see in the beginning of this video is, is that I did wipe it down with um, a sanitary wipe. Uh, I've been doing this during the whole, like, you know, I don't know how many months, but we're technically still kind of in the pandemic thing. And, you know, I, have, I haven't received my shot yet. So um, I'm always wiping everything down in the gym before I use it and after. So um, I can put my forehead on the bag. <laughs> Anyway, I think I might have talked to through um, the last set, which was a, a low left hook, and this is now my upper right hook, and I do have a hard time with my upper right hook. Like, my shoulder and trap, trap, 
mm, I call them traps and I'm trying to say the full name for you guys and I'm like I drew a blank just now um trap is I want to say trap is like I can't be right at any rate the muscle between your neck and your shoulder that is in pain when I do my upper right hook and to do that for a hundred even though I've done this every week increasing five every week it still is a little painful for my right side um, just because it's not used to being used I mean this is probably the most action that I get on a week <laughs> on a weekend um, and then during the week I do other gym things so it's not as intense but that was right there my upper right hook um, so now after I took some water, I'm going back in and now I'm working my power. So now you're going to, um, realize that every time in my workouts, I'll do the number of reps that I have to do. And then after I complete all those sets, those exercises, then I do, um, my power exercises and I'll do 10 reps per exercise. So that gets a little exhausting but it's at the same time like very cool especially if you're having a rough work week <laughs> which i had a lot of in the beginning and actually for the past couple weeks i've been very stress-free and making a point to be stress-free um even though you see me like punching this bag it's not stressful at all it's you know i'm usually thinking about like my grocery list or like you know staring at the floor or something like I really should be probably focused on the bag but I definitely use this time to think about a lot of things so um let's see where am I on this At any rate, um, I also want to emphasize that my nails are still inside these gloves and it doesn't feel any discomfort. If, you know, for example, when I did my um, poly gel nails with dual forms, they were a little bit longer than the soft gel tips, so I had to file those down after um, like the first uh, use at the gym with the poly gel dual form nails. So that was the only like um, thing that I felt but otherwise like my hands are pretty good in the gloves and you really don't if anybody is thinking about working on cardio and um, and your like tension and maybe some emotional therapy at the same time I highly would recommend um, finding a bag somewhere and, and getting some gloves some wraps for your wrists and um try this out i mean it's really fun and some days when you need it it's there <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it and um as long as you're patient and careful i mean you really don't hurt anything and you shouldn't so when i started i didn't have the gloves i was only doing again 10 20 reps so i just used the wraps and that was fine up till i got uh to up to 50 reps after 50 reps with the wraps, I noticed that my wrists were taking more um, or a longer shock. And um, after I was done during the work week, my wrists would be in a little pain. So then I started to wear um, the gloves. And um, since then, it's been good. I just have to make sure that um, the uh, wraps are nice and... and um, not too tight, but tight enough to be firm on your wrist so it holds it in place. Um, and you just have to make sure that you make a good plant on the bag. Your fist in the in on your glove should be flat to the bag. Um, you know, leading with your middle knuckle, and um, you shouldn't be feeling any discomfort at all. So let's see. Am I still doing, I'm talking so much that I'm not even paying attention to the video. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so this is actually the next round. I do three sets, or three rounds of these sets. It's um, reps of five. And I do that three times, so a total of nine. And then in this last round, I'm not using the glove. Now, mind you, it's a shorter amount of times I'm hitting the bag, so I'm not hurting my knuckles. And when I do my wraps, I make sure that I wrap my front, my um, main knuckles like three, four times. And then my uh, forefinger uh, knuckles at least twice in case I, I hit that. But um, then I do this three times, reps of five. I don't even know if they came out normal, but <laughs> so here I want to show you how I tuck my nails. So there's obviously a proper way to make a fist when you box, but I have to compensate with my nails. So as long as you lay your nails flat against your palms and you tuck in your thumbnails away from um, where the surface of your fist will hit the bag, I um, hardly ever touch my nails to the bag. So um, I've accidentally, out of uncon like over um, punching um, sometimes, uh, I've hit my nail on the bag through the glove. So that's, um, and I, and I did like crack it. So uh, that happens, but that's um, my fault. <laughs> that might have been a bad day or a bad week or whatever. But yeah, so here I'm just um, unraveling. It's very fun to unravel. It's also like um, massaging your wrists. Um, I tend to rock when I'm <laughs> boxing, so I'm rocking with the bag. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah, best part of the training is because you got to roll all that stuff up. But once you do, it's done and over with. And it's nice and neat for you to go the next time. And after I'm done with this, I'm going to show you um, just how the nails look. Unscathed, um, all intact. Um, if I have like crazy nail decals on there or rhinestones... Um, that rub up against the glove somehow. I mean, it's it doesn't happen often, but sometimes when I have like maybe too much all around my nail, some rhinestones will come off. But yeah, so here are the July four nails, still intact, and then the um, DC villain characters still intact. But that is my boxing a hundred reps per exercise for my 38th birthday. Thank you so much for watching. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you again next time. And join me tomorrow when I start my Disney Princess series for my July birthday month. Everything that I like, and we're going to be doing well, I'm going to be doing um, bonus videos, so we'll be doing two different sets each week for the month of July. Can't wait to see it. Thanks. Bye.